in Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. We must always avoid this and make sure that our younger generations are kept informed of what is happening in the church before and now. That is why, as Bishop had mentioned earlier, go and visit our exhibition and you will see what happened from the time 1901 to right now. It is my pleasant duty to thank everyone for Bishop, for his leadership and commitment for this anniversary celebration, for our overseas guests, especially Darren and Bishop Vijay Kumar, for Bishop Philip Locke and Biskopina, for Elder Tan and Mrs. Tan, for Biskopina, Santa Paul for being present with us, our pastors, members, and most important of all, all of you for taking time to be here. I want to especially thank the organizing committee. There are too many aspects of the organizing committee to mention everyone, but as you can see, all of them have done their good work so that this function has gone on smoothly. We want to thank Vijay Samuel for the blood donation, Reverend Vijay Joseph, Reverend Moses Muthusamy and Reverend Paul Krishnan for setting up the exhibition and the video presentation. For Madam MC Mohana and uh, Daniel Abhishegam for the wonderful MC that they have done. For the ELCL institution for being present today. For the band, Brother Eliezer and the musicians and the dancers who have done such a good job. For the donors of the prize, prizes and the hampers. For the editorial team for the magazine, the souvenir magazine, the diocesan office staff, Brother Frederick Toma and the youth for being ushers and uh, ably handling everything going on here today. For Reverend David for the door gifts, Reverend Gordon Moses and uh, Mr. Damodran Media. And there are so many more that I can say. Yes, our 110th anniversary celebration is an exercise of gratitude of God's grace and mercy to the ELCM. We are also grateful that we are able to share this fellowship with our fellow ELCM, LCMS, and the Aqua Lutheran Church with our elders and other churches in this country. There have been memorable and extraordinary moments in our history and we should always remember that. Also to inform you, that we had put a time capsule in the year 2000 and which is supposed to be open in the year 2025 unless Bishop decides to open it earlier. At the end of the day, brothers and sisters, we must always thank God for His grace and mercy. As Reverend John Pritchard prayed, in your generous love, he's talking to God, in your generous love, you see us and hear us. You say to us, your sins are forgiven. We, on our part, lift our hearts in joy. We praise you for your goodness. Thank you everyone for coming here today and have a safe journey home. Thank you very much. If I could have your attention, it's, you would like to invite Bishop Solomon Raja for the closing prayer and benediction. Ladies and gentlemen, the closing prayer and benediction. Thank you. Shall we pray? Give us a second. Please rise. I think that will be better. We thank you, Jesus, for giving us this wonderful day. We thank you for the many good blessings in our life. We thank you for the 110 years that you have been with us throughout these 110 years. We thank you for the early pioneers. We thank you for the pastors and evangelists, deacons and members of the church. Father, we thank you for the wonderful blessings that you have showered upon us. Tonight, we want to thank you for this special occasion. We pray that you be with us as we set from here to go forth. That you will continue to be with us in all our undertakings in the lake the years to come. We thank you that you have been our God 
and you have always blessed us. And we thank you that we are able to say only one thing, that is, thank you, Jesus. We thank you for this night, pray that you will be with our members as they travel back home, that you will protect them from all evil or any other. In any other way, Father, we pray that you will be with them so that they will reach home safely and have and the morning when they attend their services, be with them and bring them safely. Finally, Lord, we thank you for all the things that you have showered upon us in this Saturday that is. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the Meru Lutheran congregation is having a fundraising project. They have printed round neck t-shirts for sale. It is available in black and maroon. It is to raise funds to send their youth to the National Youth Camp. Please uh, buy these t-shirts to raise funds for the Meru Lutheran congregation to send their youth to the church camp. Thank you for being with us all the way to the end. Praise God. Drive safely. Don't drink and drive. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone.